Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add music to your video in Filmora 10. And I will also show you how to control the volume of the background music at a certain part on the timeline uh, with the audio keyframe. So I think it is very easy. By the way, I got some questions from my subscriber. And that's why I want to make this short tutorial for you. And being mentioned that we are, uh, we are having a great deals for Filmora 10 lifetime license. It is 40% discount coupon code. So you want to purchase the software that is a great time for you. Check out the link I put in the description for more, more information. Okay, let's go to my computer screen. Uh, so here I have my, my Filmora 10 open and I have some uh, video clip on the timeline. Very nice, right? And nothing fancy, just uh, some example clip. And now if you want to add music to your video, all you need to do is to go back to the, your media folder here and then double click at this area, okay? Just double click. And now you need to find the music file on your computer. For example, I have it here. So the last my mood, I can just select the music here and then I click open. Open, okay? So it will be in my Filmora 10. And now I can play the music, for example, here. So if I want to use this song, uh, all I need to do is to just drag and drop it uh, onto the timeline and it will be on the timeline. So this is my background music. But, and what if I want to use just a certain part of the music? Uh, I can do like this, uh, just delete this one. So I'm going to double click at the music file here. And then I can press I to set an in point for my music file. For example, at this at this position, I can press I to set an in point, and I can press O to set an out point for my music. So this is a, the part that I'm going to uh, put it on the timeline. Let's play it. Play it here from here. No, I can drag this play. Now I can just click at the preview window and then drag it onto the timeline uh, to use only this part, okay? And now if I want to shorten or shorten the uh, the music file on the timeline, all I need to do is to put my mouse to this edge and then trim it, okay? I can press this button to view everything on the timeline, okay? So um, uh, what if I want to create a fade in and fade out for my music? I can do the same, just move my mouse to the edge of the music file here and you can see a little dot here. All you need to do is to click it and then drag it to the right to create a fade in. And now you want to create a fade out, you can do the same, drag it to the left to create a fade out. That is easy, right? And now I'm going to show you how to use the audio keyframe to control the music at a certain part on the timeline. For example, at this position, I want to lower the, the volume of the background music. All I need to do is to double click at the music file here and then I can click the, the audio keyframe here so we can add volume keyframe uh, at this position and now you want to add three more keyframe so we want to add another keyframe here and add another keyframe right here and also add another keyframe right here okay and the next thing we want to click at the keyframe here and then adjust the volume here by dragging it down here, all the way down here. Okay, so by doing this, you have lower the volume of the music file at this part on the timeline. Uh, let's play it. Very nice, right? And you can increase it a little bit if you want to keep some background at, the, uh, at this position. Uh, it will like this, it will like this. And being mentioned that if you want to reset reset the audio level at this position, for example, you don't want to use the, uh, the keyframe anymore, you can just delete the audio keyframe here. Just select it and delete it. Very nice, right? And you have another way to lower the volume of the background music at a certain part on the timeline is to use the audio ducking. So for example, if I have a clip here, uh, maybe uh, this clip will have me talking uh, talking in the video and stuff like that. We can use the audio ducking by double click at the clip and then go to the audio tab here. Normally it will go to the video tab and you need to go to the audio tab here and then you can select the uh, 
the audio ducking um, feature here so it will lower the volume of other clips on the timeline and when you increase the percentage here your audio waveform will go down at the uh, on the timeline okay so let's play it first uh, at this position if you want to uh, to copy this uh, ducking effect you can just uh, double click at the video here and then go to the effect tab here copy and then you can paste it uh, paste the audio effect to all other clips on the timeline just right click and go to the effect and then paste the effect so you have the audio ducking feature enabled on all, all the clips on the timeline like this all right so that is how to add music to your video in Filmora 10 and also how to control the volume of the background music at a certain part on the timeline uh, with audio keyframe and audio ducking I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any more questions about this software, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.